The 4th of July weekend is kicking off with the 23rd annual Portland tradition, the Waterfront Blues Festival, now underway at Waterfront Park. And, of course, in addition to all the great music, the festival is also the largest fundraiser of the year for the Oregon Food Bank. Steve Dunn, Deb Knapp are out there enjoying it at Waterfront Park. Hello. Hey, you guys. Uh, nice to see you. Yeah, you mentioned it, Brian, and it's absolutely true. The Blues Fest, a huge uh, fundraiser for the food bank. And as you know, that, that need is great. In fact, uh, in 2009, the Oregon Food Bank distributed 14% more food than they did the year before. And, you know, some of that can, of course, be blamed on the bad economy. We had a chance to meet a family who used to donate to the food bank, but now they find themselves in a position where they rely upon it. Here's the Walker family works as a team at the One Life Food Pantry in Vancouver. Well, we're trying to give a three to five day supply. Andrea so started the pantry ten before. years ago to help the less fortunate. You know, when my husband was making eighty thousand dollars a year, I didn't really need to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> But in 2007, her husband, who was a manager at a telecommunication company, got laid off. So going from a position to, you know, drawing unemployment, you know, you have to come in a place where you, you really feel either humiliated or understand just humility. All of a sudden, the Walker family found themselves depending on Andrea's $600 a month salary. And there was a time where I really thought we were going to lose our house. They say this has taught them a lot. They can now relate better to their clients and help them access additional resources. It's also given them a new perspective on hunger. Many times people try to think the stereotype of what a person is who's hungry which is, you know, they think it's just people who, you know, have substance abuse problems or, you know, all oh, these people didn't really take care of themselves or maybe they didn't manage their money. Um, those are some of the, you know, stereotypes. But in reality, I find here is more and more people that are coming through our doors are people who are college educated, who had good jobs, who were paying their bills, who were trying to keep on top of things. You never know. It could be you. For David, his one advice for people in this position. There's, there's a way to find those resources. There's a lot of information out there. And Oregon Food Bank's a really good place to start. If you need some help or if you know somebody who does, we have a link on our website at katu.com and provided all the information that you need for the Oregon Food Bank.